Welcome to westernslopenow.com. Meteorologist Russ Papp is here. Take a quick look with me. America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. This is an eastbound view across the Grand Valley. Thin, but there's still smoke and haze out there. It was a little bit more noticeable this morning and over the weekend. And this is going to continue, folks. I'm sorry. We're going to have these smoky, hazy filled days through the midweek, even into the end of this week. Some days will be heavier. Other days will be thinner. Uh, we don't have weather hazards. I am watching the northwest corner of Colorado this evening. Uh, we could achieve a red flag warning. There's actually some little small storms passing through the region. There's uh, on the tail end of a secondary cold front. Uh, the first one being Saturday that we talked about last week, lowering our temperatures a bit. And that was the main reason why we had the wind on Friday. I was hoping this secondary front would also generate those winds. And those winds out of the southwest would have given us uh, about a 10 to 12 hour reprieve from the smoke. It would have wiped it out uh, just like that Friday. But uh, that just wasn't the case. This is not a direct impact. And we're not even getting winds at the surface that are meeting the criteria for red flag warnings. I'm still watching it. Uh, there still could be an impactful storm rolling through Meeker. But I don't think much else. The more important factor is going to be the smoke and haze. Now, a couple different patterns pushing the smoke in. And the majority of the smoke is from the Dixie Wildfire in California. It is the second largest wildfire in their history. Um, and it's still going. It's still raging. So we have a ridge of high pressure off towards our west. The smoke generally can get caught up in that ridge, drawn to the north, into the Pacific Northwest, and then cycled around clockwise rotation right into our area. We also have a westerly flow. And you can see primarily... We do have that westerly flow now, so that's pushing in that smoke. Uh, we aren't really in the mood to measure or to get any measurable rain showers for most of this week. Though late this week, models are suggesting, and I talked about it last week, that we could see the return or at least a, a modified version of uh, the monsoon pattern, which is widespread storm coverage. But more important than anything, if we can get this monsoon pattern to redevelop, and, and we would need a series of low pressure systems to our north continuing to pass by, west to east, that activity would suppress our high pressure system to the west. That would push the high to the south and reform to our east. That's an ideal pattern to get the high pressure system to our east for that monsoon development. And of course, helpful would be a low also in the desert southwest. But if we can get our high to get out of the Pacific Northwest, to get out of the western third of the United States, redevelop in the southern plains, then that would change our wind direction and winds would be coming at us from the south. And we would not only get an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms after Thursday, because you can see real quick what happens when we get into the weekend. We see a little bit more coverage Friday into Saturday. But more important than having that increase in showers is the, the wind direction. We'll kick that smoke right on out. There's no mistaking it. If we can get a southerly breeze up in here, then it will clear. There's the tail end of that front. It, it happened so quickly through Monday night into early Tuesday morning that there really wasn't a whole lot of storm coverage for northwest Colorado or western slope for that matter. Still going to hang through the midweek, still going to reinforce that high pressure system, still going to have that westerly flow. So in other words, smoke is going to be present through the midweek. Uh, it'll be thin at times, but once we get to the late week period, uh, we start to see an increase in moisture, an increase in humidity levels in the southern zones, primarily the San Juans first. But um, we already have that low pressure system setting up in the desert southwest. If we could just get our high to migrate to the southern U.S. plains, then we'll be in a classic or a textbook pattern of that monsoon. In the meantime, it's hot, dry, and hazy. Now, Thursday and Friday, Grand Junction could threaten all-time records for the day. But those records are 101 and 102. And with the smoke in the atmosphere, the thicker it is, you know, I, I tell you, we get clouds in the morning that, that act like a blanket and trap the heat at the surface and keeps our low temperatures warmer. Well, smoke, heavy pollutants in the atmosphere could do the same thing. Not only will it keep our lows warmer in the morning, but it can also prevent our highs from getting too hot. Now, unfortunately, if you want to avoid record temperatures, you need to have a lot of smoke. So it's kind of a fine line. Which would you rather have, respiratory issues or hot temperatures? I'm going to take the hot temperatures every day. So through Friday, we're going to have dry conditions, hot temperatures, and we're going to have that smoke and haze into the weekend. Now, the temperature trend is to go down. So by the end of the weekend and into the start of next week, some models suggest we could see that storm pattern developing, and that would help clear out the smoke from the atmosphere with that southerly wind direction. That's what monsoon means, a reversal of the winds. Now, with Montrose being a little bit closer to the San Juans, a little bit closer to the Four Corners region, a little bit closer to the more impactful areas in the desert southwest and in the borderland region, 
Montrose sees that chance of showers. You know, last week I was suggesting it would occur Friday night. Here we are, right on the money. Lower temperatures, increased cloud coverage, increased humidity levels, a little bit more scattered storm chances. So we're going to keep an eye on this late weekend pattern because it will make all the difference in the world. We'll put rain in the bucket and we'll clear out the smoke. So please, in the meantime, try to limit your outdoor activities. Prolonged exposure outside doesn't do your lungs any good. And if you have respiratory issues, you already know. What I'm telling you is a, is a serious issue. We have air quality health advisories in place each day. Likely they'll be extended through the end of this week until we get those winds to change direction and come at us from the south.